through the past few weeks with all the loss, fear, and frustration, the words of this song have come to mind. With every challenge, I've found myself talking to Jesus, yes, often to express my hurt and anger, but also to thank him for the constants in my life with my relationship with him at the top of the list. A few mornings ago, I woke up with this song in my heart. I, I thought back about the many things that have happened and God began to affirm the choices I've had to make. No matter what has happened, God has provided peace to my heart. For every fear, every frustration and loss and pain, the constant has been Jesus. The only prayer I could pray in the most uncertain times was simply, Jesus, have mercy and give us grace. And like the psalmist David, when I called on the name of the Lord, he answered. The verses of this song have meant a lot to me, but this week as I reflected on the song and on the past few weeks, I realized it was the chorus that was truly on my heart. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world. Just give me Jesus. While we grieve the loss of many different aspects of the life we used to live, I believe the peace we have in Christ, the peace that truly passes understanding, is worth more now than anything we thought we had before. Last week, after our oldest daughter evacuated from New York City, I was able to go to sleep with my family all under one roof in our own home, which was not guaranteed to me even a few days ago. Even though I'm relieved she's in a safer place and we don't know what's ahead, I could tell you God's story after God's story about the mercy and grace that Jesus has poured out onto my family and into my heart, and I know into yours too. For now though, please know that whatever road you're walking, Jesus is there. Friends, you've walked this road before and you know that if you stay close to Jesus, if you listen carefully for his will, he will remain faithful. Amen.
God's gift. 